So now we're going to talk about what's called a dot product. So we talked about scalar multiplication with a vector. So you take a real number and you're multiplying it times a vector and you get a vector, right? Okay, so dot product has to do with multiplying vectors. Now there's actually two ways to multiply vectors. So we're multiplying vectors. One is a dot product. When you multiply them with a dot product, it's written, so say your vectors are v and u, it's um, v dot u. That's how they're going to write that. Um, this is a scalar. Now, I'd say when you're first starting to work with vectors, one of the big things is when is it a scalar and when is it a vector? So when we do a dot product, you get a scalar. So you're going to get like a real number for the answer for a dot product, okay? The other type that we're not going to do this semester is called a cross product. So I'll just tell you what it is. You'll study it in other math classes, but it's V, and they write cross U, and that's a different thing. So we're not doing this. <laughs> we're just doing dot products right now. Okay. To do a dot product then, let's say your vector v is um, a i plus b. Oh, you know what? They In the book, they put it in component form. You could do it in either form, but I'll, I'll be consistent with the book for, in case you're looking it up. So say it's in component form a comma b, and then your u is in component form c comma d. Then to do a dot product, so v dot u, it's a c plus b d, and that's going to give you a scalar, okay? They also talk about the angle, finding the angle between v and u, um, the angle between your two vectors. So that's found by the cosine of theta, where, okay, now I probably need to describe theta, say this is vector v and this is vector u, then theta is between the two, okay? So it's cosine theta, and they usually write it this way, v dot u, which is a scalar, right, divided by the magnitude of v times the magnitude of u. And that's also a scalar down there, okay, because you're finding magnitude. Okay, we'll need this one in the next video, okay? All right, so find the dot product. First, we're just gonna find the dot product. So you take the, uh, the dot product, v dot u is going to equal five times negative three plus 12 times four. So you're just saying, you know, five times negative three, and then you're adding it to 12 times four. That's kind of how visually I look at it. So you get negative 15 plus 48, which is 33. Notice it's not a vector, it's just a real number. Um, that is the dot product, okay? So not too hard to find a dot product, you just have to remember how to do it, but you know, you just get a nice little number.